Welcome to The Gaggle, where we talk politics beyond what's in print. Yeah. This week we're talking about the congressional delegation's view on how they uh, come down on the emergency declaration against President Trump and the vaccine uh, bills that were considered in the legislature. But first, Dustin, tell us a bit about the bills at the legislature that appear to have died for this session right now. Start with the charter school reforms or not. Okay, yeah, so last Friday was a big deadline in the legislature. Bills had to clear committee in the Chamber of Origin, so a bill that was introduced in the House needed to get out of a committee in the House and vice versa in the Senate. Um, so we saw a couple of big issues kind of die. Um, one of the biggies was charter school reform. Um, one bill sponsored by Kate Brophy McGee is still progressing in the Senate, but there were a number of other bills with more stringent um, restrictions seen as, I guess, kind of a more, more aggressive regulation bill. Um, those measures have, all, have all, all, all died in both chambers. And legislative immunity, we've heard a lot about that this session. Any movement? That was another biggie. House Speaker Rusty Bowers, he did not allow any hearings on that bill. He feels like it's a separation of powers issue and that lawmakers have that immunity from arrest while the legislature is in session for good reason. So that one's also dead. A um, couple other biggies, um, one was criminal justice reform. There were a number of big criminal justice bills this year, um, one dealing with truth and sentencing laws. These are the minimum mandatory, mandatory sentencing laws in Arizona. There was a lot of hope there might be some movement on that this year because of Republican co-sponsors. That one also died. Also, another one was the Equal Rights Amendment. We had Republican co-sponsors for that, but still um, two key committee chairs didn't allow hearings on those bills to go forward. Okay. Well, we'll stay tuned on your coverage of that. Uh, Stephanie, there was also some movement on the vaccine crowd, uh, their, their anti-vaccine efforts. Uh, what happened at the legislature with all of that? Well, there were three bills considered in the House Health Committee last week, and all three uh, were opposed by major medical organizations, including the Arizona Public Health Association. Basically, uh, the argument is that they would erode uh, vaccine coverage for school children in Arizona. Uh, one of the bigger ones was um, expanding exemptions to include not only personal belief, but um, religious exemptions as well. And this, uh, the three bills were debated. It lasted most of the day and they all passed. They're going through the House. It was uh, along party lines uh, with Nancy Barto and the Republicans voting in favor of them. And there was some controversy because the people opposed to um, vaccines or people supporting the bills were allowed a presentation that lasted an hour and the doctors who were speaking at the hearing were given roughly two minutes, some, some of them a little more, but they were given significantly less time to wow. speak. Pretty uneven allotment of uh, interest. Well, it, technically it was a presentation at the beginning, but there were some people critical of that, and uh, there, there was some national attention on this as well. Forbes magazine, for one, picked it up. Right. And um, so what's going on on the border? Uh, well, the president's emergency declaration earlier this month is being challenged in the House of Representatives, and Arizona's delegation is mostly split along the usual party lines with our five Democratic members um, basically supporting the Democratic-led effort to uh, reject and rebuke the president's uh, effort to declare an emergency on the border. There are three Republicans in the Arizona delegation who have also said they support the president, uh, unsurprisingly. The one person who seems to be caught in the middle is David Schweikert, who is also, as it turns out, uh, up for re-election in a, what Democrats hope will be a more fierce contest in 2020. So. All eyes are on David Schweikert and how he will come down. He has signaled that he's troubled by what the president has declared as an emergency, just to be intellectually consistent with his prior criticism of President Obama on these kinds of things. So we'll stay tuned to see how all of that sorts itself out. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching and stay with AZ Central for all your political coverage.